I'm going to show you what a funnel is and how a funnel works. This video is not about leads. There's many other people out there talking about that. I'm going to show you what you do after you get your leads. How do you nurture your leads and the type of setup you need to have? Then after that, we're going to jump on a computer so I can take you to my website and show you exactly what I mean so you can see visually how this process works. So if you have a website or a landing page, you're going to need some type of sign up form, a pop up form or some type of link that's going to take them to a page that, where you could capture the information, their name, their email address and then their phone number. Once you get their information, that information th should then take them and put them into a list. That list will then take that information and then put them into an email automation. So this email automation should be some type of welcome series explaining who you are, the type of products and services that you offer and how you can help them once they sign up. This is how you take a cold lead, make them warm, and then turn them into a buying customer. But the first one you want to send out should be something like a welcome email type of automation, right? So once you do all of that, then that should be sending your clients information about you, the type of products, the type of services, how you can help them, more information about things that could just help them in their life and how to make their life better. So let's jump on the computer so I can show you what this actually look like. So if you land on my website through a post that I did, a video, a you know, an image post, a blog post, a tweet, however you, you know, Google search, however you found that information and got back to my website, we'll get this pop-up form. This is what I was explaining earlier. So now this pop-up form, like I said, when I scroll down somewhat 50% of the page, because I don't like as soon as I get to somebody's page and the first thing that pop up is a form. I hate that shit. So when this form pop up, person will put their name, and their email address. You could have a phone number address. You could pop, you could program this or, you know, create this however you want it. I just want something quick and simple. Just grab their name and email address. Now, once they put their information in and click subscribe, it will then take them to my Zoho. This is the Zoho I was explaining about. And these are all different. These are all different lists that I have set up. So that way, these different lists, I'll talk about different topics and I'll apply these lists to that particular topic, post, blog post, whatever. They enter that list, then they will go inside the automation. Now, this automation, you don't want to be sending out emails and text messages and things like that manually. So you would use a system to help you organize these things. So that way you craft very good emails. So that way when a person reads it, they're compelled to, you know, either buy or be interested to find out more information. So the first email I usually send out once they enter, once they fill out the contact form or if they enter by a list from another automation that had ended, then it send them to this list. What happens is it hit the first message. This would be like our welcome message. You know, your first email is usually your welcome message. So something like this, just explaining, you know, who we are, what we do, how we can help you and a little incentive of a 30% discount. And what's, what's to come in this email series, what they're going to receive in the next email series. So that way it's not spammy and they're actually getting information and you want people to actually check these emails. So as the email series continue, it waits for a couple of days, then it sends out another email waits for a couple of days and then it sends out another email. So right here, I'm doing a little logic. More or less, I'm saying if a person open the email, add a score, then wait three days. If they click on any link inside of the email, you know, wait a couple of days and then send them an exclusive offer. If they skip the email, like they don't even check it at all, then assign a tag that they're not even interested and put them in a not interested list. Because essentially, I'm going to populate a whole not interested list of people and then try to get them interested with a series of different type of email automations and stuff like that. So that's just how it goes. And then it just keeps continuing down more emails tips do it yourself like this is a video i did on how to install a one of the wireless door contacts they keep going through the automation you add scores you uh give them more information you could put product information like if you want to sell something in this particular email series i'm not selling anything i actually have another automation that send emails about the products and stuff like that but for this particular series is pretty much just information it's pretty much just information so this is just one type of email series there's several different types of email automations you could set up so that way you can keep these people interested you don't want to spam them but you want to be sending them relevant information on a if you can on a daily weekly or monthly basis as long as they can sent to it, you know, they'll let, they'll read your emails. So this is how the email go, more emails, more wait time. At the end of it, what I'm doing is I'm moving them to another automation, which is my email blogs. This is like my evergreen emails. Cause I post, like I said, eight blogs a month. So as I keep posting blogs, I'll keep 
editing this email blog campaign or automation rather and you know it'll just go on forever more or less so as i keep writing blogs i'll keep creating and adjusting that email blog automation so that way i can add these new blogs add these new blogs so that way that that particular automation can run you know potentially forever create your post the lead like what you say they click through your post they come back to either landing page or website. You have a pop-up form or a form on that page. However you get the form there, you can embed it or you can pop it up. It doesn't really matter. The point of the matter is you're trying to capture the person's information so that way later you can nurture them into a potential customer. So this is how you do that. They put their information in, they go inside of a list. That list will then send them a series of emails to get them to like who you are and what your company can do, how you can help them you know, make their life easy. So that is a simple email automation process. If you need help with setting up emails or if you want to learn how to do more like this, let me know in the comments. Peace.